Hi, welcome to Workspace Talk, where we discuss everything from home office furniture to commercial system furniture, ancillary, and also accessories. There are going to be different topics, such as training. Uh, one of them would be a 3D program uh, that is known by the system designers. It is known as CET Designer, and I know in the past it was called Canvas, and that was for, I believe it was for Hayworth. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, we're going to get into importing the AutoCAD drawing. Let's go over here. Let me drag this out of the way to pay-per-view. And from pay-per-view, I want you to go to your tools and go to the, under CAD tools, go to the blueprint, also called CAD settings, click on that and import new and your template, open that up. And depending on what part of the world you're at, um, you can select your proper units. And we are Imperial over here in the United States. So I'm gonna click on insert. And I wanted to point something out to you. There is a print area and you can see that by the light gray uh, outline box. You might want to dimension it. And what you will, should do is, let's see if I can get to it. What you should do is look at those dimensions and go into AutoCAD and line up your tick marks and follow those dimensions, eight and three sixteenths from here to here and 10 and nine sixteenths from here to here. And the reason why you would do that is that you could use the position tool and you could position these tick marks over to the print area. I do not have AutoCAD, so unfortunately I can't do that, but just bear with me. I'm gonna just uh, center that into the print area. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's somewhat centered, that's fine. So after I've done that, and after you close this um, box right here, and then you can see that um, you could lock the position so it doesn't go anywhere. And we're gonna get going on uh, placing the text. So what I wanted to do was to go over just the regular text tool for now. We're gonna place that over here. Just click and drag. And um, since, you know, it's going to be like your, your title, whatever the drawing is called, whether it's a overall component plan, uh, whatever it is, um, I'll just call it a furniture plan for now. Uh, you can manually change it. And that's what I really recommend for the, the text that you're gonna be constantly changing. Um, and since I would recommend actually cleaning up the drawing, but since for demonstration purposes, I can't do that. So I'm going to fill this background in, click on that. Since it's white, that's fine. I'm gonna leave it at that. And then I'm just gonna click on these little stretch points right over here, these yellow dots. And, and there we go. I could put it in the middle. Let's see. Oh, the position should be front so that it uh, goes over that, but I'm uh, talking about uh, adjustment. And there you go. So it's centered by going here to the alignment area. And what we wanna do is we wanna lock this so that it doesn't uh, move around. So you're gonna go right click with your button and go to the lock position. And it's also L for the shortcut keys. Um, and you can notice that that purple outline turned gray. And that's what we want. We're gonna do that for all the text that we place after we're done uh, adjusting it, you can do that. And also let's, uh, so let's get going. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you how to uh, insert a data field. And let's, before I get into that, let's go here to tools. And since you have loaded uh, the project info extension, it should appear right here in the very bottom, click on that. 
And on there, we're gonna um, place our, like this, you have these project names here. We'll just call this, this project name, we'll just call it um, office. And contract number, uh, we don't have any control over this uh, labeling over here. So I had to pick some uh, text and, you know, we call it project number. So just know that that's where you're going to um, be pulling that information block from. So I'm going to go over there. Let's go to ship to on the tab up here. Um, you know, depending on uh, the company, I just call it a XYZ company from accounting class. That's what we like to do. Um, and then you could insert your address, your city, your state. Um, so that's fine. And then over here to order notes, um, you could say, uh, you know, whatever your re revision is, you can insert that detail and you can go here to top note. So I'm just telling you where all the information is and then you're gonna click on okay. And all that is stored. So here, let's go over, let's go to data field. You're gonna click so you're gonna left click and drag and then click again. And then you can go over here to your project variables, click on that, click on the plus sign for project info. And then depending on what it is that you wanted to uh, do, let's go to order information and you can see the project name is office because we already inserted that. So you'll see that's there. And then here, let me show you contract number, which was our project number. So we'll go number one, two, three, four, and just for fun. And uh, you could just kind of just click okay, or just click out, click out. And then if you wanted to change the style, go to edit, and we can change the height here, one sixteenth. And you can also adjust the font. I'm just gonna leave it at Arial. Okay, so that's pretty small. And um, you can make adjustments to this later on. You could actually, um, what I recommend is maybe just hitting A for copy. And then you can adjust um, this other, um, other, other um, box here. You go to ship to and you can do company name. And uh, that way you could just hit A for copy and then adjust the fields, you know, whatever, um, whatever you want to have located there. So you just don't remake the wheel. It's just a lot faster for you. And then again, you can change the height over here, but I'm just gonna place one of these. So you know the general idea. And we're going to adjust the size of it by just clicking on these yellow dotted control points here. And we're just going to uh, move it all the way down over here and just resize. Oops, let's resize these over here so it's visible. And then what you want to do since it's purple, we know that it can be moved. And so we know that we could type in L for lock or right click, go all the way down to the lock position over here. And now it's grayed out and we're good to go. So that's just a quick way of how to, um, to use your data fields to build on top of your existing uh, AutoCAD template from AutoCAD. It's simple, quick, and easy. And that way you can just um, create your eight and a half by 11, 11 by 17 uh, templates. One more thing I wanted to point out is I wanna be able to um, load from a file. And so we're gonna create papers. So we'll go over that on the next portion. We're gonna go over saving the paper. And after you have created it and centered everything, I would recommend just deleting those uh, dimensions just so that it's nice and clean. And we're gonna go right over here, you can go over here and you right click and you could hit save paper or you could use this icon right here, save selected paper. 
And then what I recommend is um, I'm going to hit delete. <laughs> um, go ahead and route it to your seed drawing or wherever you keep your templates, uh, put it on your network and uh, just label it so you know where to go. And then I like to call this uh, eight and a half by 11 and uh, just go ahead and click save and they'll say CET paper as type default, which is perfect. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so you have saved your paper, but then you want, let's just pretend that this is a brand new drawing or let's, yeah, we could just um, pretend that this doesn't exist. Click on this icon here, load paper from file. And then you can route it to wherever you, you saved it. And then just click on open. And then here, right over here, it's uh, it shows that we have our our fields and they're still applicable, you know, one, two, three, four. And that's just, everything's locked in place and you're good to go. So that's how you would save a paper and import a paper as well. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to doing more for you. Thank you.